Hi everyone, welcome to the 26th session of Python for Machine Learning. In this session, we will learn about outliers and outliers, how to detect them and then how to handle them. So as usual, we'll import our libraries, pandas and numpy and we have our data set, salary data set. So we'll execute this and we'll check, check the content of this data set. So there are three columns, ID, age and salary. Now, and also we'll check data set dot head. Okay, we can see the salary is ranging from like what is the max salary and what is the min salary first we'll see. So max salary is 81,200 and what is the min salary? It's 350 only. So you can see there's a huge difference. Now also if we'll check what is the mean salary. Mean salary is 5,644. So if you see from mean salary and the maximum salary, there's a huge difference. Okay, now we'll see how many people are above like 10,000. Data set dot salary, S-L-A-R-Y, which is greater than 10,000 dot count. Okay. So above 10,000 is 5, 000, uh, 57 people only. Now below that will be around around 550 or something. We can just simply see. It's a typical case of this 57 people are beyond this range. And even if you see above, above 20,000, how many people are above 20,000? 12, above 30,000, 7, above 40,000. So these these candidates these records will add to the outliers range so in order to and also if, if we see the graphically how to do whenever we uh, we start with the uh, machine learning analysis first we are supposed to do the univariate analysis univariate analysis is nothing but take each and every column and plot it in the histogram or whatever uh, scatter plot it depends upon your requirement so what we will do we'll have our data set data set salary dot histogram will plot and we'll give bins is equal to 20. Okay, so we can see the like the majority of the chunk like lies in this region and the few who uh, for the few it will it is changing the distribution of the graph like right? it is impacting our the whole distribution. Please note so in order to handle this outliers, we will implement the like we will apply the logs and create a new uh, columns in which we can see the distribution. What is the how my data is spread across the distribution? So we'll apply log. Sometimes we'll apply square root, and sometimes even we will we can apply cube root. It it depends upon your requirement, and also it depends on the data. So what we will do now we will give data set data set salary we are adding a new column salary underscore log which is equals to now in order uh, please note this log square root cube roots are uh, uh, we can use numpy to get them log of then again salary okay now we'll apply histogram on this. Salary underscore log is equal dot hist bins equals to 20. We'll execute these two lines. Now you can see the range is shrinked a further like here the maximum range was 350 but here the range is 160 and the data is now distributed uh, spread across this distribution quite nicely here we can see it was a case of right skew okay here the right skewness is minimized now it's coming to a normal curve but still now what if we apply here the square root so simply take this just check change here sqrt and also change the column names because that is where we are going to add and also here 
change sqrt now so everything is fine we will execute this now here also the value is minimized up further but my uh, log was much better than square root it depends upon the data which you are handling with what about cube root if we apply the cube root then here we will give cbrt is a function for cube root cb execute this for cbrt it's also almost the same case but the curve is bit much more uh, spread across it's not like the above case now so in this way sometimes even you can uh, apply the log of a square a cube root or square root it depends on, on on your data and also please note it should the column in which you are applying log or square it, sh it should not be negative ideally like we all already know this so this is how we detect outliers and then we handle outliers now if we want to see what is my data set data set dot head if you give so you can see now the original data is this and now after applying log the value is being shrinked through this with uh, square root it is around two now if we check what is the mean of salary log Eight point. What is the mean of our normal salary? Five six. Now, what is the mean of our square root? What is the mean of our cube root? So the square root is trending toward the mean. But again, as for the distribution, we can use log, and it also again depends upon your data. This is the log is just applicable to the for this example. So. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you feel this video is helpful, please comment and press the like button. And also the uh, for the subscriber who has already uh, subscribed for this channel, thanks a lot for watching this session. In in case if you want me to cover any other topic, please comment in the uh, post in the comment section. Thank you.